Way. Awkward jump from Arkub Carabana, very slow into stride. Brilliant light well away towards the inside with uh, Kenzai Warrior. Just fine going forwards, who with Palavacino Blue with the headgear on the outside. Legend of Dubai, yellow and black spots. Forrest Falcon is tracking markedly wide of the field in the silver silks and uh, moving up to join them now under Frankie de Tori. West End Charmer, Forrest Falcon's stable companion, not all that far behind. Back on the inside, Bell Rock follows Caradoc as they race through the first three furlongs and still uphill. And Etonian is very handy on the inside of Palavacino. Forrest Falcon just fine. Then Brilliant Light and Mokta Saab followed uh, behind these by West End Charmer. Legend of Dubai and Ace Rothstein towards the inside. Then Kenzai Warrior as they race inside the final six furlongs. Cat Francais is further back with Caradoc and Lord Protector. Then Carabana round the inside of Bell Rock and Arkub after that awkward jump at the start is towards the rear. Soto Sizzler is also towards the rear with Barishnikov, the bat marker, running down the hill. And Palavacino now takes a definite advantage from Forrest Falcon in second. Etonian on the rail in the red with the green armlets. The royal jacket is worn by Just Fine in fourth place from Brilliant Light. They're followed by Mokta Saab with the big white blaze down the center. Cat Francais not far behind with Kenzai Warrior. And then behind these out wide Legend of Dubai. Wider still is Arkub. Law Protector will have to find a way through. So too will Caradoc as they now reach the rail cutaway. And Palavacino from Forest Falcon. These two strike for strike. Forest Falcon maybe just taking it up. Just fine chasing with Etonian. Ace Rothstein running a big race on the far side. Mokta Saab as they race on now towards the final fall. And Forest Falcon has kicked away on the far side. Running into second Etonian. Trying to run on brilliant light. And Mokta Saab on the outside. But Forest Forest Falcon is out clear. Two to three legs. Forest Falcon and Frankie wins the opener. In second, Brilliant Light. Mokta Saab third. Etonian and Lord Protector. Frankie de Tori wins the opening race of the Qatar Glorious Goodwood Festival 2022 on a day when otherwise he might have thought he'd be riding Stradivarius. He won't be, but he has ridden a winner. That'll make him feel an awful lot better. In second, the royal blue silks of Godolphin, sported by Danny Tudhope on brilliant light. Third is Mokta Saab, fourth is Etonian, and fifth is Lord Protector, ahead of Kenzai Warrior and eighth Rostein and Caradoc and West End Charmer. And rather disappointing was the horse who was well back beforehand, finishing no better than mid-division legend of Dubai. But Frankie de Tori it is that has won this for Mark and Charlie Johnston. They have won the first race of their beloved Goodwood Festival with Forrest Falcon. Lydia Hislop's had the exactor. <laughs> Martin Dixon's not surprised. What do we make of that? Yeah, it was, he stares out notably wide early on, doesn't he, Frankie? We can see him here towards the near side of your screen, just wanting to perch him forward steadily. Uh, he manages him to do, to do so, travel like a dream, and he's won it well, hasn't he? Seventh time, I think it is, that the Johnstons have won this handicap and get the week off to a, a flyer. I thought it was impressive on the day. Uh, behind several of these in the John Smith's Cup last time out, but with the wide trip as, excuse, as an excuse that day, and yeah, he's put it all together with a, a big effort. And you do just wonder now, having seen that, whether this will be a motif of the week. The Johnstons teaming up with Frankie de Tori on horses that will have been primed and readied for this fixture and a jockey who's you know, got his got his point to prove. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, the winner, always handy. I don't think the pace was quick early on in the race and there were plenty of horses including Palavicino and Forrest Falcon himself that were able to track across from quite uh, wide draws to get across into relatively handy positions or in the case of Palavicino to, to the front. They've obviously stepped on the gas a little bit at this point but not, not many travelling that well right in behind. I think we'll, we'll need to watch it a few times to see if there were any hard luck stories but nothing caught my eye notably at the first at the first time of watching. Caradoc travelled quite well in mid-division. Maybe keep an eye on the green cap of Lord Protector because he does stay on late into uh, into fifth position. Yeah, he's had to, to tip out rather wider than the jockey would have liked and hasn't had the clearest of runs through, but that's not the first or last time that's going to be said at, at Goodwood. Bell Rock never really got into it today. No. Etonians run well while suggesting that perhaps he doesn't want every bit of this trip. But at least he's proven that he he is competitive again, hasn't he? This was proof that Ascot wasn't a one-off 
um, one-off run and it was in a much more competitive type of race than, than the Ascot race had been. So Palavagino took them along, too keen, I think, to last out. Brilliant light, probably a little bit unfortunate not to finish slightly closer to Forest Falcon. I think the, um, Danny Tudhope would have liked to get out a bit sooner to get a, a real crack at Forest Falcon, but the winners won so well in the end, I think it'd be stretching it to say he's a hard luck story. A couple of things for Alan King here. Look at the print they're making yeah. there. Suggests that Ed Arkell's irrigation of the track has, has certainly had an impact. And second, that the Racing Post standard time of 2 minutes 3, well this is 2 minutes 5.3, so it's 2.5 outside the Racing Post standard. Yeah, more like, a, you know, there's certainly some ease in the ground, isn't there? You know, it's, it's not as quick as you might have anticipated with the weather that we've had. Plenty of water gone on for day one, and um, I'd say we're more like good ground than than any quicker anyway. A rather muted smile from Frankie de Torre as he comes in aboard Forest Falcon in the colours of Sheikh Hamdan bin Mohammed Al Maktoum. Another victory at Goodwood for Charlie and Mark Johnston from stall 16. De Torre has performed wonders to get Forest Falcon across and into the winner's enclosure. Yeah, thank you, Nick. Uh, that is the fifth time since 2012 the Johnson team have won that particular race. Forest Falcon 14 to 1. Wide draw didn't matter. Brilliant light 13 to 2. Round through for second. Mock to Sab 9 to 1. That's more like it. From Mock to Sab, Etonian looked a big threat at one point. 16 to 1. Finished in fourth. My place favourite was Legend of Dubai. Uh, let's confirm the time. That was 205.31.31 of a second above the standard. Alan King, of course, will be having a look at things after that first race.